Okay, today we're going to take a look at mole calculations. Now, what I'm about to teach you is a little bit unconventional. Um, it doesn't go with the factor label method, factor label method, but it definitely allows you to get your answer. All right, here we have our mole city map. In our mole city map, it tells us how to convert from one factor to the other factor. So in Gramville, only thing that exists in Gramville is grams. In Leaderville, we have liters. In Mole City, we have moles. In Molecule Village, there only exist molecules. In Adams Peak, there only exist atoms. And in order to go from one area to the next, we have to perform a calculation. So to go from Gramville to Mole City, we would simply divide by the molecular weight or atomic weight of the substance that we're given, and our answer would be in moles. If we want to go from moles to Molecule Village, we would simply multiply times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, which is Avogadro's number, and that would give our answers in molecule. If we wanted to go from atoms to molecules to atoms, we would have to multiply times the number of atoms, and our answer would be an atom. So wherever you are in the map, wherever you want to go, you need to know where you're starting and where you're going to finish. So if I start at atoms and I want to go to grams, I will simply divide by the number of atoms, divide by Avogadro's number, and multiply times the molecular weight and my answer would be given in grams. So having said that, let's take a look at a problem. What is the mass of 2.5 grams of mole of sodium? So I have 2.5 moles of sodium and where do I want to go since I'm talking about mass since I'm talking about mass I'm in moles so that means that I'm here on my map and I want to go to grams. So in order to do that, I multiply times the molecular weight of sodium. So the molecular weight of sodium is 23. I get that information from looking up on the periodic table and 2.5 times 23 is 57.5 grams. So the answer for here is 57.5 grams. All right, let's look at another one. Calculate the number of atoms in 1.7 moles of carbon. So again, I'm in moles, and I want to go to atoms. So in order for me to do that, I follow my little calculation here. I have 1.7 times I want to go from moles to molecules. So I multiply that times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then I multiply this by the number of atoms, which in this instance is 1. And when I do my calculation, I have 1.7 times 6.02 raised to the 23rd times 1. That gives me 1.02 times 10 to the 24. In this instance, because I want atoms, the answer is going to be in atoms. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you can remember the map, then you can just know what the conversion is. You're going to multiply, divide by a particular number. Okay. Calculate the number of atoms in 5 grams of H2O. So in this instance, I'm starting in grams. I'm given 5 grams and I want to go to atoms. So in order to go from grams to moles, I first have to divide by the molecular weight. 
I then have to multiply time Avogadro's number and then multiply time the number of atoms. So I have five divided by the molecular weight of oxygen, I mean of H2O is 18. I'm going to take that number and multiply it times Avogadro's number to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And then I'm going to multiply that times the number of atoms, which in this instance I have one oxygen, two hydrogens, which gives me a total of three. So when I do that, 5 divided by 18 times 6.02 raised to the 23rd times 3. My answer is 5.57 times 10 to the 22 atoms.